Well, it's Friday and you made it. You made it to the end of the week and the weekend is almost here. Well, this week I had something kind of upsetting to me happen. So I was reaching out of the cabinet for my coffee cup at church. It slipped out of my hands and it broke. I know, my favorite coffee cup shattered into pieces. And as I considered putting it all back together, I thought to myself, no way, it will never be the same. And as I was thinking about all these pieces and all these trying to put it back together, it took me back to, I think college, early freshman year that I had a professor read me a story or read to us a devotion on the crack pot. And I found it again, and so I wanna read it to you today. Uh, that's what we're gonna have you think about today is our lives being these cracked vessels. And this is what it says. It's uh, The author's unknown, um, but it, it goes like this. An elderly Chinese woman had two large pots, each hung on the ends of a pole which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it, while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water. At the end of the long walks from the stream to the house, the crack pot arrived only half full. For a full two years, this went on daily, when the woman bringing home only half of a pot of water. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishment, but the poor crack pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it could only do half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be bitter failure, it spoke to the woman one day by the stream, I am ashamed of myself because it's cracked in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your house. The woman smiled. Did you notice that there are flowers on your side of the path, but not on the other side? That's because I always known about your flaw. So I planted flower seeds on the side of your path. And every day while we walk back, you water them. For two years, I've been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate the table. Without you being just the way you are, there would not be this beauty to grace this house. Have you ever felt like that crackpot? imperfect, having flaws, not being that perfect person. Well, as you go into this week, and I want you to be thinking about those cracks and those flaws that we all have. We struggle with hurt. We struggle with not being perfect, not getting those perfect grades, not having the perfect whatever. We think we have to live this way, but you know, God likes us for who we are. He's made us his child. And you know what? With that comes imperfections. It comes cracks. It comes hurts. It comes suffering. And this is what it says in 2 Corinthians 4, 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the surpassing greatness of the power will be of God and not from ourselves. And so as you think about your life having cracks and maybe some holes in it, don't try to patch it or turn it so others don't see it, but allow God to shine through those cracks. Allow him to be able to be that greatness and that goodness that comes from it, that you rely on him to make those patches in our lives to feel complete. So as you think about this weekend, and as we know we all have cracks, we all have those failures, don't be ashamed. Let God use those for his goodness. You might just realize that there's somebody out there who needs to see your failures and your cracks. So that as Christ shines through it, they too can, re can live in his hope and his encouragement. Because this is another verse from 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And this is what it says. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Your power is perfect in my weakness. Have a wonderful weekend, guys, and celebrate those cracks that we have in our lives.